one, zero. Hey everybody, Hail hey, Conversations is live, coming up shortly. You're in the dark. Don't feel like you're in the dark. My good friend Greybeard will keep you company. Hi, uh, I'm Greybeard. This is Hail hey, Conversations. I'm a not a paid sponsor. I'm a friend of Rappaport. I don't look like a, anything like him. Uh, Okay, that no, it really is me just wearing the, the special Google effects and Google makeup. We'll be starting shortly. My guest tonight is author Glenn Rogers. Really excited. So much is going on on Google+. Plus. It is crazy. I'm just going to share a at Hangout Conversation. So if you're watching on YouTube or you're watching the recorded version and you go to at Hangout Conversations, you can circle us and see the latest videos and recordings. Also, YouTube.com. Backslash Hangout Conversations as well. And I know that Stephanie Wanamaker is watching. Hey, Stephanie Wanamaker. Pleasure to have you here. Checking us out. Do a little refresh. Here we go. I'm refreshing right now. We are live. Let's take this time. Reshare with your friends. That'd be awesome. How are you liking the new Google Plus? Leave some comments. I want, I want the debate tonight. You know, not just that Glenn's great and, and I'm okay, but really I want you guys to, like, fight over Google Plus and talk about how you love or hate all the changes that are going on right now. Uh, it's pretty crazy, everything that's going on right now. Uh, they, they revamped the entire site. It wasn't just, like, one or two or five things. It was a complete overhaul. So let me just open your YouTube comments up right now. Let me hit pause. A bang. All right. And watch uh, comment on the YouTube post, but I'll try to get all the comments. I'll try to do all the things. I'm going to use the comment tracker. Comment tracker is an app actually that you can get in Hangouts. It, it helped last week that I had Heather Faye. During, when Heather Faye was here, I had her sit, uh, playing music and singing. So during this time of, of me just talking, um, I should have asked Glenn Rogers to sing. I wasn't thinking ahead. I should, I should, actually, that's, I should make all my guests, whether they sing or not, maybe they rap, do a theme song in the future while I'm sharing stuff. So that would be probably hilarious. I don't know if all my guests would agree to do that. That'll be interesting to see what happens. And... Uh, so how's your day? How's your how was your holiday? How was your Passover? Your Easter? Your your non-holiday? That was good. All right. Let's just flag out every second. Everyone watching on YouTube, we're still here. Live from New York and Texas, it's Hangout Conversations with Mad Rapport. Boom, 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 boom. It's me. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another exciting edition of Hangout Conversations. I think we're on number 29. We're almost, we're, we're approaching the decade, the three-decade mark of 30. Uh, welcome to this wild ride. We are still on Google+, Plus, but we're also on YouTube now, which we were last week, which, which is pretty insane in the membrane if I must say, and I'm pretty cool at the same time, and I'm having a lot of fun exploring all of it. Uh, crazy. How are you? How, how, is, how are your loved ones? If you're just tuning in. appreciate you watching. Tonight's guest, Len Rogers, is an author, and he will be coming up shortly. But just wow, OMG plus, what is going on? So many changes. A new design with not just new features, like I said, but a Hangout page, which you can check out Hangouts to watch and Hangouts to join, but everything like from like white space and, and what that's going to be used for eventually to uh, all your buttons getting moved around. I made a video about it, how it feels like Google Plus, the last design, w w the one we know that, we've been, that we were testing for months before it was released to the public, that design was like your room, it's a little messy and you know where things are. And then all of a sudden, the new one feels like your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your husband or your wife or maybe your mom or whatever said made you either cleaned up your, either made you clean up your room or more likely they went into your room without you knowing. They cleaned it all up. They put everything in different places, and all of a sudden you walk into your room. It's all different looking and, and neater and more organized, but you don't know where everything's organized. And then you kind of like ask, and the tour doesn't exactly do it justice. So. Um, that's what it kind of feels like. I don't know. Is that what it feels like to you? So, I mean, I love the new Hangout stuff. 
And an, I don't mind the whole G Talk chat on the side, the Facebook thing. But we'll talk more with Glenn and, and you about that later. But, but let me know what you feel in the chat, in the YouTube comments. Uh, you know, pics and videos are bigger. The use of the space is different. Uh, I like what the buttons look like. I just wish I could find all of them. Uh, so, so let me know how you feel about the new Google Plus. That is the that is replacing Google Plus updates. Uh, new Google Plus as the hashtag to search for last week and and use of white spaces. Last week's episode with the lovely Heather Fay, singer songwriter Heather Fay, is now up as well as our conversations plus. And a new plus came an episode with co-host Jane Ellen and that Matt Mikowski fella. Pretty crazy. That's also up. And a couple of kicking and pluses. I had one was Jane Ellen in America and Idol's Nathan Stoops, and the other one was social strategic Muppet hat wearer Mike Stinger. Uh, but I'll put it up, put it off, up. I'll put up with it because that's a. I, listen, I can't. Ever since the new Google Plus, which happened yesterday, I've been having trouble talking and sleeping, and not that I who, who needs sleep. Uh, la, uh, tonight's guest is an author. He's a co Shakespeare hangout runner organizer. Uh, we'll ask him exact leader of the co. Shakespeare, or the Shakespeare Hangouts, as, like, again, I can't speak anymore. A self-proclaimed sit-down comedian straight from Texas, joining and sitting down with me right now, Mr. Glenn Rogers. Welcome to Hangout Conversations. Thank you very oh much. Oh, my God, it's a pirate. He's coming to eat me. What you do with Glenn Rogers? I don't know. I just thought I'd, you know, get your voice out there, I'd, you know, scare you. and uh, just It worked pretty well. I'm pretty Yeah, excited. thank you. Thank you. That's are my you job. That's what I do. Are you looking for gold or digging for uh, Davy Jones' locker with that Scooby gear on? That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, as you know, you know, everybody in, in Texas is, you know, rich, so. Oh, yeah, sure they are. Cool. Yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Not every, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, there's, well, I think Texas represents America as well. There's an upper class and a lower class, and the middle class is kind of getting wiped out. Um, but I think that that makes sense. But uh, you can't, you can't, it's not fair. There, I mean, there are plenty. I think, like, Texas has, the people that are rich in Texas are very rich, right? Yeah. So there's that to overcome. And also Dallas, right? The soap opera where everyone was rich. Dallas. Dallas, actually, Dallas is a soap opera. Um, if you've ever done Dallas. Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. I mean, the actual city is a soap opera. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> is, there more, is, is there anything else you'd like to say? We have some people in Dallas watching. What? Uh, to be continued. To be continued. As any good soap opera would be. Yeah, but uh, it's good to be here. Thanks for the invite. Oh, it's great to have you. And it's funny. I don't know when I asked you to be on, but I asked uh, all my guests. I asked way in advance, and they're all like thinking, "Oh my God, that's so far away." But time flies. I mean, it. This Google Plus ex project experiment yeah. started. People talk about it starting in June. I really think July because it was like the last day in June. So, but it, July was, I guess, a long time ago. And yeah, time like, flies. It, it really like does. Yesterday. Yeah. Now, now before we get into to too much, ha, ever since you joined, now I think ever since I joined Google Plus, I don't think there has been a day I didn't somehow connect to it. Do you is that this true with you, or or you've actually had a full twenty four hours without it? Oh yeah, uh, you know I, I have um, I go through you know the DTs and I have all you know side effects and I recover from times when I'm not on Google, but that's okay, you know I. I call my friends and ask them if they're on Google and what they're doing on Google. So, you know, I kind of keep the time going. But uh, I, I, I spend a lot of time on Google with friends and hangouts and things like that. I do a, a movie riff hangout on weekends. Yeah. Um, Tell us more about the movie riff hangout and, and who your regulars are and um, how that all started. Yeah. Well, it started uh, late last August. Uh, I had just gotten on Google. And uh, I was joining my first hangout, and the guy said, hey, let's show this uh, video I did on YouTube. I said, you can watch YouTube on the hangout? He said, yeah, sure. I'm like, you know what would be really cool is to watch a really bad movie and, and riff on it in the actual hangout. And that's pretty much how Movie Riff was born. Uh, because previous to that, um, a friend of mine, would invite me over to watch films and make fun of them. She called it misting, which is you know basically based on uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I love Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yeah, I, I just and, on. Uh, and she said, you know, would you would you like to join us to mist? And I thought, you know, you know, whatever you want to do, it might get kind of um, 
you know, dirty, you might need to bring some paper towels. And then she explained, no, 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 actually it's misting, like Mystery Science Theater 3000. And uh, so I got hooked on that. And then when I found out we could do it on the Hangout, then that was just bliss. And so Stephanie Wanamaker and Michael Anderson and Alex Grossman and Nikki Bernal and uh, Susan Smith and Lori Friedrich and a bunch of people just joined in and we've had a fun. It's just, it's like a party in a, in a hangout. So it's been a lot of fun. And so what movies were you, so what are some of the movie riffs, like some of the good lines that you remember, something that like really made you guys laugh off the top of your head? Uh, Plan 9 is one of my personal favorites. Plan 9 from Outer Space. There's, there's a movie to make fun of. Um, there was, there's was one we did that we vowed that we would never do again called Alucard. And if you think of Alucard, it's basically Dracula backwards. Uh, it was about two and a half hours, and the quality was pretty much a couple of things below a uh, high school, you know, student film. And uh, it, it was it was it was it was pretty bad. I mean, you know, I, how did you how did you even find that movie? Just you, the internet, or yeah, you you go on YouTube and you look for full length films. And usually you're picking bad films, awful films, that kind of thing. And there's a, there are more awful films out there than good films. And uh, thanks, Michael Bay. But uh, <laughs> ching But, but uh, yeah, Michael Bay, stick to television. <laughs> <laughs> then I think Michael Bay's next job should be, you know, do you want fries with that? But that's just my opinion. Aww. Michael Bay, Mike, Michael Bay and McGee, are they in the same category? Uh, well, McGee has less letters, but no, I think <laughs> Michael Bay is, uh, I think he has to really pull the reins in on the editing because, uh, you know, you, uh, I kind of learned when I was doing some editing in, like, a college that when you're, when you're doing a, a scene and you're editing it, you're supposed to make sure that the audience understands what's going on. So, and I read that somewhere. So, you know, if you watch a movie like that, it's kind of hard to uh, understand what's going on. So, uh, but, yeah. It's, uh, I'm a big movie buff. Yeah, me too. And I, I, made, I made a movie with my mind and a therapist. And if you guys want to movie riff my movie, I'll be there and take the movie riffing as you're watching it. Oh, what is this film? How could you make such God? No, I mean, I don't think it's not that. But, I mean, I'll, I'll do that. And, in uh, fact, I'm actually... Sure. We, although, I mean, I own the movie, so we could even do an HOA and show my movie in the movie Riff Live. We could do a special live mm -hmm. show of the movie, and you guys can do your thing. Uh, I don't know what that would be like. That would be interesting. But so, because most of the movies you watch, not everyone's seen them before, right? No, no, that's that's the thing. Of course, the the funky thing and you you should mention is. Um, a guy named uh, Daniel Poth and I, we were going to do some riffing, and we were going to do record it and put it on YouTube. But most of these uh, films are actually still under copyright. So if you want to, if you uh, if you're in danger of violating copyright infringement, you know you, you you can't do the film. Films like Santa Claus Conquers the Martians is still under copyright, which I refuse to believe. But you know, there you go. But uh, I like to do some films, you know, so everybody can see them. <laughs> but uh, no, that, yeah, that makes somebody's actually paying for these films still. That's kind of scary. Froze. Sorry, I froze for a second. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that everybody you said you like to do films that everybody knows. Have you said for the most part, or say again? You like to do films that everybody knows. I, no, I like to find obscure films. I like to find films that I have never heard of um, because there are a lot of films that Mystery Science Theater 3000 uh, did. And, I, you know, I want to find some that, oh, you're going to do Plan 9 again? Oh, great. Manos? Oh, great. And you find some really obscure ones, which, boy, there, there are a bunch of obscure ones out there you can find. And uh, we just, they're fun. We, we have a great time doing them. Everybody, come on by. Yeah, so movie rips, and when, when, when are they on again? Uh, they're on 8 o'clock Central Time on Saturdays and uh, 2.30 Central Time on Sundays. Okay, cool, 8 o'clock p.m., so 9 p.m. Eastern. 8 p.m. and 2.30 p.m. And Okay, 9 p.m. Eastern, 3.30 p.m. Eastern. 
9 p.m. Eastern on Saturday and 3 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I would love to join that and, and check it out. You know, it's, it's, it's something to do on the weekends. And, you know, now with the new format, Hangouts, there's a Hangout page and you can find Hangouts to watch, so it's a lot easier for people to find what's yeah. going on. And now with, with the YouTube... Um, Although your so yours yours isn't on air because of the copyright, right? Is that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ba basically, you get flagged uh, if you yeah. do something like <laughs> once again, Santa Claus conquers the Martians. Go figure. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, still, it's still probably is it on net? Is that a movie on Netflix? Maybe Netflix is trying to bang get the most bang out of its buck for that movie. I don't think there's any bang left, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm sure Netflix. Well, is to get I think everyone knows Netflix has such. Not, there's there are a lot of. It's like Netflix is the home of like so many terrible movies that have never been in the movie theater that are sitting there, like the sex comedies yeah. and the a comedy. Sharktopus. Like, I like Sharktopus particularly. Sharktopus. So very interesting. So you're an uh, so you actually are an author, writer, blogger, humor. You tend to lean towards humor. I tend actually that's the only thing I took, tend to lean toward. Um, I I did a lot of writing uh, as as a kid, and I'm very thankful that. I don't have any of that to share that with you because of oh. it. Yeah, it was pretty sad. Anyway, uh, but I started writing like last year, and I started writing. Yeah, don't cry. And I was uh, started writing a um, a blog on uh, basically it's a satire on games and the gaming industry called uh, Game View Fake Gaming News Print to Fit. And it was basically, you know, in, in our culture, gaming has become a big, huge part of our culture. And uh, so I thought, okay, since it's become a big, huge part of our culture, you got to lampoon it. And so, you know, and there are games that come out that have numerous bugs. There are companies that behave basically that, uh, uh, you know, uh, corporate companies behave like. And so there was a lot of fodder. And so I started doing that blog. Yeah, and that got pretty popular. Mm. And so you're a game, then you're a big time gamer too, or? Yeah, big time, big, big time. time. What are some of your? So what was? Is there what game right now are you obsessed with? Obsessed with? One, or is there one that you you have a favorite right now, or one that you play weekly or daily, or you're playing right now and we can't even see it? Yeah, actually, actually, I'm playing it right now. I, damn, you figured me out. Uh, no, no. I, Multitasking, well, multitasking. <laughs> multitasking. Yeah, I can only multitask so much. Uh, well, you know, I like the uh, Uncharted series, the Batman series. Cool. So the you're into, com are more, I'm sorry, you're into comic books. You're into comic books, too. Yeah, I, like com I had a killer comic book collection of it at one point, and it's gone. So rest oh, in peace. Sad. Um, yeah, it was, it was kind of sad circumstances. But... Uh, yeah, I, games like uh, Uncharted and things like that. Uncharted basically has better storylines than most of the action movies that come out now. So it's it's kind of cool. It's like playing your own little Indiana Jones adventure. And to be clear, most action movies that come out don't even have storylines. Exactly. See, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you watch Game of Thrones. It reminds me of a line that Peter Kinklitz said this week, something like, are you questioning my honor? And he said, and then his response was like, like basically, you don't. It's, I, how can I question your honor when you don't have any? Something like that. He said it more cleverly than that, but that kind of thing. So you're but paraphrasing. It, I'm paraphrasing. Yeah. yeah okay. I don't, I don't it sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. My memory works. It's just my memory's overloaded with uh, with uh, buttons and uh, and and stretching out the the stream and the. And the whatnot that happened. I think here. this new design is affecting your speech here. Is it? Let's talk about the new design. Let's. Uh... Uh, the new design is affecting my speech. I can't even get the words out. Yeah. It's frustrating, and this show too. It's just, it's, it's just trying to sit here and figure out what exactly they were trying to do, uh, or what, or why they would. Like I don't. My mod. Like you, you want to be, you want to be risky. You want to go for it. You want to. Right. You know, go after it. And you want to change up some things, so I get that. But if why change stuff that that was working? I mean, I get if there's a money broke, issue. Yeah. If right. it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, you know, Twitter and Facebook have, you know, Facebook has like, and Twitter has retweet, and, and all that. Mm -hmm. We had the only word we had plus one. We had we had the word share. 
So they're like, we don't want the word share. Let's just put the an arrow up there. That looks like a forward button on your on your browser. You know. I thought it was like a like a backspace thing. You know, it was like, um, you want to go back to the next page or something. Like yeah, that. or a backspace or a refresh or something. Yeah, or, refresh. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, when you hover to share, but then there's a hangout button. The hangout button looks really appealing, and to right. me, uh, but like I never understood hanging out because of the post. Like, maybe from a show. That would be cool if a show, you had a little hangout to watch the show and talk about the show as it was happening. Or right. that, that maybe is a little t- hard to focus and be meta, but it would, at least you could kind of gather and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, kind of like a, instead of a movie riff where it's a hangout conversations riff. You know, oh, look at that Rappaport. He can't even talk, and he doesn't shave, and, <laughs> and all that. Other, and that guy, Glenn, he's over there drinking and, and movie riffing and, and all that stuff. I don't know. Well, I'll be honest, the first time I saw the new design, I thought it looked like, you know, Madonna after she was photoshopped. Um, <laughs> it was just... Bang. You're full of them. Uh, yeah. I, you I do got, realize I, Lady Madonna is one of our loyal viewers, so Lady Madonna, sorry about that. I hope that uh, it didn't affect your workout, because she listens while she works out, so... Oh, does she really? Yeah, because okay. she, she needs to work out more, you know what I'm saying? Okay, should we, should we be doing this since she's working out? Yeah, okay. yeah move... Well... Yeah, I don't think she wants us to vote. She might throw up while she's working out. But. Yeah, well, that's true. But she might hey, make we're money. We're in 3D. You know, we're in 3D. If we're in 3D. Oh, wait, she won't make money. She'll be upset that we're voguing, and she's like, yeah, yeah. She's well, not Lars. Yeah. She's not Lars Ulrich, so I can't go that far. You know, <laughs> could be worse. No, but you know, that's 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 the kind of stuff I write. I I love to write satire and and. Uh, especially the you know the social culture, the social media, and just speaking of the new you know I'm, don't hurry kids. I'll I'll come up with something about the new Google design um, because I also write another blog called the News of Spear, and it's kind of a, a spinoff from uh, uh, from GameView, sort of like you know Joey was a spinoff of Friends. Actually, that's a really bad example. Um, <laughs> You're like yeah, you don't want to be Joey. That's that's a bad example. Uh, I'll try to think of something else. Uh, anyway, I guess Maud from, uh, <laughs> from All in the Family. Anyway, but, gotta, I will think of a better TV example before it's all over. Yeah, please do. Uh, oh wait, Divin Strokes and Facts of Life. How's that? Oh, even better. That's I like that. Bad. That yeah. that was good. Anything's better than Joey, but uh, it's it's primarily it's social. It's pretty much any uh, for anybody that uh, doesn't really understand the gaming industry and that sort of thing. Because I, I did find when people were looking at uh, GameView, they were taking it seriously, and I had a lot of people come in and say, "Wow, really? You know, they released only half of Skyrim, and uh, so that's why they're doing all those patches." And I went, "No, no, it's 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 a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke." Uh, so I did this thing called the Newsosphere, and then that branched out into uh, my ebook. Uh, we'll see how many books have I written. Let's see. There's okay. There's one. Uh, it's uh, selected items from the Newsosphere, and uh, so you can you can get that. You can go awesome. Get that. Hey, yeah, it's it's. I was going to ask you about ebooks. You've only written one. I've written in the past one or two about network marketing stuff that I don't do as much really anymore. But oh, excellent. The ebook. So the ebook. It's interesting. The ebooks. You literally can write an ebook that's one page or way many more than that. And uh, people, it's amazing. I mean, people are looking for free ebooks or even cheap ebooks, and especially with all the readers out there. So, and even on the internet. Um, I don't, I mean, is that, do you find when it, when it comes to writing, that's where your main selling point is? Or as far as making money off your writing? I mean, I don't know what, what your whole, like, what's the ebook business like? Is it, is, it's really just, to get your name out there and get your site out there and for people to discover you and what you do, right? Yeah. More so than, than yeah. the money-making appeal. <laughs> the $10 you might make after like a year. Yeah. Or, uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm raking in the big bucks. Um, anyway. <laughs> no, but that's not just a, anything to say about you. That's a, Unless you're a celebrity, I mean, or you get oh, you yeah. have to tap into a niche or your guy Kawasaki, you're not making... Even guy Kawasaki with his What the Plus it was offering yeah. for free for quite a while, and he goes back and forth between $3 and free. And it's it's interesting how $3 is not a lot of money because you feel like you're getting something, but but to some people, like, if, if I was to ask someone to pay $3 to watch a movie, they might not want to. Like, it's interesting what people will and won't pay for online or, you know? Well, that, that's another thing I like, I like to touch on because... Um, 
you know, people will pretty much plus anything, share anything. There, there was a, a person I saw, and they say, basically said, well, that's all for me, good night. And they got like 98 shares, and I say that all the time, you know, in person, and no one ever says, wow, that is an incredible statement. I think I'll, I'll, I'll remember that, write that down, and tell my friends. So it, it's a really interesting culture, um, particularly, you know, Facebook and Google. People like to talk about what they're eating and um, what movie they saw, and that kind of thing. And I always ask them, well, where did you go, and what kind of security does your home have? Because, you know, you're, you're basically telling them that you're, you're out and about and you won't be home for a while and that sort of thing. So it's a really interesting culture. It, 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 it kind of... It kinda... Yeah, I was just saying hi to people on the post. I'm also, not only am I the host, but I'm also the moderator and a bunch of other stuff. Wow, you're I mean, good. So yeah. you're multitasking. I, am, I do multitask, but I do wear the headphones so I don't miss anything you say. Just in case I don't see your, I might, I might miss the faces you're making at me <laughs> under, under, under that mask. What? Oh wait, you took off the pirate hat. Wait. Yeah, you, you didn't see that, did you? Mm -mm. But uh, so this, so this new. Oh, I like that. That's good. Some, what are you drinking there? Some. I wish I was drinking uh, Irish coffee, but just regular coffee. I say you were drinking some Irish. This is water. Irish, not, not Irish, vodka. Irish water. Well, I was thinking about vodka, and that would be kind of strange, you know. I was writing my blog. About the oh my god, Dudley Moore from the dead, welcome! Thank you! Dudley Moore, what do you think of uh, Russell Brand remaking your, uh, your classic movie? Are you, uh, does it bother you? Uh, it doesn't bother me because I didn't have any money invested. Oh my god, your accent's gone. And, oh, yeah, no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, what do you, what'd you think about Arthur the Remake, necessary? I don't know. I mean, as long as it's Russell Brand and is is still British, I don't have a problem with it. And the girl they picked was a lot hotter than Liza Minnelli. Aww. But I don't know. I had a better career than this Russell character, and, and he needs to work on this funny thing. There it is. There it is. You'll never, ever again see a Texan doing a British accent. Yeah. That is, <laughs> that is the one and only time. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't see the remake, but yes. My impressions are just usually Ryan Vincent go like, uh, man, you the chest here, like, hey, hey, you know Ryan, right, a little bit? Okay, you, you told me this was uh, safe for work, but don't do that. But, you know, people, don't, you didn't see that. <laughs> Wait, my chest there is safe for work? So that's true. Yeah, that, was, that was just wrong. Oh, uh, yes, they'll, they'll be blinded by the, hair, by the light. Do the Photoshop. Yeah. No, it, it was quick. It was, it was a quickie, and, and that's what she said, but... <laughs> so, so you also so you do it's like we could I could talk for hours just on comics and video games and and uh, you also but I want to get everything you also do you run Shakespeare hangouts right uh, Monica actually, and Monica or you did Monica does Monica uh, does okay yeah actually she started the uh, thing Monica I love Monica's, you yeah and she loves you too she said she's watching she's the greatest. Uh, she started a Shakespeare Hangout, and her first one was uh, Much Ado About Nothing. And uh, that was a fun, it was a great, great idea, Monica. Um, because we did Much Ado, I read uh, Benedict and uh, Dogberry, and that was just a blast. And then we started Tempest, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, continue it. But that was, that was a bunch of fun. You, you know, look up the script and then you read it, and oops, gratuitous beaver shot. Anyway, um... That happens. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I love Much Ado About Nothing. I actually got to study some theater in Oxford, and we did Much Ado About Nothing, and we got to read different parts. I got to read Bernard, Bernard, Bernardo and, mm -hmm. and Dog, 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 Dogberry. Um, Dogberry, that's right, and a few different parts. So it was a lot of fun. It's a, it's a fun play. The Kenneth Branagh version is, is, is decent, I guess, the movie, except for Keanu Reeves going, whoa, dude. <laughs> but, I have sworn to avenge. No, yeah. I, I'm They're like sure. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves goes up, to, went up, goes up to the director and is like, "So, uh, what do you want me to do?" And they're like, "Just, just be yourself." Yeah. <laughs> like I think that's like every role. Like I, I'm sure if you really think about it, maybe there's. I mean, is there a role that he? I mean, that he's played that he's noticeably not. That he's different. I can't even think. Uh. I don't know. He's. I guess they pretty much. I think it's playing his contract. It's, it has to say whoa at least one time. You have to. You have to say whoa. Just be yourself. Uh, that's what sells tickets. 
um, please God, don't do Bram Stoker's Dracula again, that kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah, but, that's, that's true. But, uh, but, you know, I'm sure there was some saying casting, although I wonder, I mean, who knows? Francis Ford Coppola, right? Anyway. Francis Ford Coppola. Yeah. Of course, have you seen Bram Stoker's Dracula? Or it's Bram Stoker, yeah. Yeah, that, that was a that, that was one, an interesting yeah. film. Yeah, it was. It was a friend. Wasn't it Francis Ford Coppola that did that? That was Francis Ford Coppola. Yeah, yeah, and that was one of. So was that? That wasn't his last. film. Was that his last film? No, no, it wasn't. No, no, it wasn't his last film. Um, but I think it was definitely his film that he probably. You know, but you know, that's 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 for right, another right. time. That was just a. That was a pretty psychedelic movie. Yeah, it was interesting. It was. It was. Winona, what? Winona Ryder, Keanu Reeves, uh, a lot of band. Yeah, a lot of. Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. Hopkins, a lot of vampires and blood sucking and some sex and other a stuff. A lot of blood and uh, and uh, rare meat. So yeah, it's a good yeah. film to watch. You know, once you have a really big lunch. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I could think of a lot of films like that. That yeah. was we were. I was doing a horror movie hangout with Jason Salas, and I we talked about scary moments in horror movies. And to me, when they're really gross, like like, and and I guess it. Uh, stuff from the 80s is not as gross. It's cheesy more than yeah. gross. But things like, you know, Johnny Depp getting sucked into the bed by Freddy Krueger and then the blood pops throwing up. That, yeah. when I was 10 years old, was pretty gross and scary. Things like that. The Fly, Jeff Goldblum. I know it's not the original, but him turning into the Fly. And, yeah. Uh, Killer. And Killer Clowns are out of space. That's more recent, but that was pretty gross. I stay clowns. away from clowns. Yeah, they so could be the scary. The freaks me out. So, uh, so you never eat there. Uh, no, no, no. And I don't eat a clown burger, so, you know, Poltergeist freaked me out. Yeah. Poltergeist is, is, is a pretty good, pretty good movie, pretty good classic. But, um, so, hang out. so how did you discover Google Plus and Hangouts? Did you, were you a social media, I mean, you're a blogger, so you're just aware of stuff. Were you, I know me, I was like, oh, I want an invite, I want an invite, because I was all on Buzz. What, how did you get in here and discover it, and did, were, you on, were you on Buzz too? I think well, no, no. I actually, I'd never heard of Buzz. Um, it was like the beginning of last year, and I started writing a blog. And then somebody said you should really go on, you know, Facebook or Twitter. I said, hey, yeah, dream on. Uh, and then, like about a month later, I was on, you know, Facebook and Twitter. And then I heard about uh, Google Plus, and I said, hey, three social networks. And then, you know, a month later, I was on Google Plus. So, um, please. Whoever's listening, don't create another social <laughs> network. Wait, wait, aren't you on Pinterest? What? Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> don't say that. Uh, la 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 la. Right. It doesn't. It's it's. If you just had one social network, you wouldn't be able to keep up with it. But you know, even if you have like fifty social networks, let's be honest. There's only one. There's one place to spend the most time, right? I mean. Right. So. Well, I have to sleep. You know, it's, well, it helps. A human being, and I have to eat, and I have to have like social interaction with, you know, people, right? Small people, and if you on occasion, on occasion, on occasion, yeah. yes, on occasion. But you know, it's just give me time to, you know, at least two or three hours a night, and that kind of a thing. So no more social networks, okay? Just, just cap it. Just cap it. Just cap it. So yeah. what? So what? So what? Do you remember your first hangout? First couple of hangouts in. Were you gung ho and just jumped into a hangout and you went went from there? Or? Yeah, it's it's the one where the guy was showing me the video and that's where you know I got the idea for the uh, movie riff. But yeah, I your first my, hangout, wow. Yeah, first hangout, and um, and I followed some you know some people invited me to hangouts and I who the hell are you? But and then you know you got to know them and that kind of thing and I thought it was it was fascinating because it was like a. Uh, it was like a you know a group discussion. It was like sitting in somebody's living room, you know, and talking to people. And it was much more casual than one on one, um, like on Facebook and things like that, and uh, Skype. And uh, I was chatting with some people on Skype. But once you know they they hang out, I think it's I think it has multi multi uh, purposes, much like this interview and the movie riff and the Shakespeare hangout. I think there's a lot of different possibilities. Now, yeah. if it worked correctly every time, that would be a plus. But, <laughs> That's always a plus. Uh, yeah. It's a plus. I always I like that hashtag. I like to put at the end, that's a plus. 
That's a plus. Well, it's always nice. That's always fun. No, but I, I think it's great. I think it's one of my favorite uh, things about Google+. Plus. Well, like I said earlier, I think one of the, the – this new design, this new update, however you feel about it, the positive is that they really emphasize Hangouts and they really kind of – they really like Hangouts. There's not now the – like the symbol there. There's a symbol on the side. There's right. a big button that started to hang out. Everyone in UG Talk has a little camera that looks like the Hangout. Hangouts popping up in your stream. Hangouts on the side. So there are, they really went full gung-ho with the Hangouts, and I believe it's showing way more Hangouts than they've ever shown before, and, mm -hmm. and more happening. So that was, that was the best part, I think, of this whole thing, the Hangouts, but it makes me wonder, do they want, was their goal to get, just to get more people hanging out, or was their goal to have people hang out more and use the stream less? I mean... Well, there's, there's another plus to... Plus, there you go, there's another right. plus. Well, well yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, there's no white space on the Hangout, because if there was, then I can only see, like, half your face. So that, that's, that's a plus right there. Yeah, exactly. Which, so, yeah. Because I, I personally think that white space, I think it's a, like a bias toward right-handed people, because I have to do this, you know, if, I, if I'm on Google, if I'm doing Oh, no, right. wait, we were one person there. We're yeah, like, oh, my God. It's right here, so... I, I tend to, you know, start a petition. It probably won't go that far, but, you know, I have a couple of restraining orders, but we'll talk about that later. We can later, yeah, and there is that extension that stretches it, which, like, makes everything better. I still, it makes it, makes it better where I can scroll through it, but right. again, it, it, it's kind of like they took G+, and they, they made it for, like, Andre, like, uh, like the Giant in the Sky, or Andre the Giant. They made it for Andre the Giant. real big person, because, like, I don't need... It's it's like it's nice that that there's a big for the hang, it's I think that for the uh, for the pictures maybe but really for the broadcast make those big that's fine and the hangouts you can make those mm -hmm. big but all those other posts like if it has one picture or it's like a small it's text they like, don't make it it seems crazy that it's so big like like comments or like it used to be a hundred comments and I'd still be able to see yeah. another post now it's like two comments and it's my whole page. Well, and the photos are larger. Like on your profile, the photos, I clicked on my profile, and holy, you know, because I, I don't like looking at myself, basically, you know, and then there's huge, huge photo, and I'm thinking, what's next, 3D? And you just froze. Hello? Okay.